In this section, we'll walk you through various audio files that have no tempo information and show you how they can easily follow the project tempo of Cubase in a few simple steps. Load up the project called Tempo in Groove 1. In this example, we've imported a drum loop and we know its tempo, 100 beats per minute. This is one of the quickest ways to match the drum loop's tempo with the tempo in Cubase. The tempo of Cubase is 120 beats per minute. We're going to set the drum loop's tempo to match the project's tempo. Press Start on the transport, and hear that the drum loop is off time with the click. Now press Stop on the transport and deactivate the click. Double click on the drum loop and the sample editor will open. In the tempo field, enter 100. You are telling Cubase that the tempo of this audio file is 100 beats per minute. With this information, Cubase can then time stretch the audio properly. In addition to typing in the tempo, you can type in the number of bars, whatever is known. In both cases, the audio will be stretched properly. Activate musical mode. The drum loop is now matched to the tempo of the project. Close the sample editor. Click on the drum loop and select Loop Selection from the Transport menu. You can now hear that the drum loop is in perfect time with the project's tempo. Feel free to change the tempo on the transport by first deactivating the tempo track and notice that the drum loop will follow. Load up the project called Tempo and Groove 2. In this example, we've imported a drum loop that we don't know the tempo of. Press Start on the transport and hear that the drum loop is off time with the click. Press Stop. Double click on the drum loop and the sample editor will open. Click on the Definition tab and activate Musical Mode. Activating musical mode allows you to hear the timing changes that we're going to make. Zoom in on the first bar. You can use the zoom slider on the bottom right. Zoom in so that you can see about 18 waveform shaker hits. Select the first bar of the loop. Activate audition loop and click the audition button. As you listen back, you may need to tweak the end of the loop to get it to loop smoothly. Click Auto Adjust on the Definition tab. Close the sample editor and listen to the loop play in time. Load up the project called Tempo in Groove 3. In this example, we have a drum loop that we don't know the tempo of. Once we find the tempo, we notice that it doesn't exactly match to the sound of the click. This is because the audio file has timing issues that need to be corrected. We will manually correct them. Double click on the drum loop and the sample editor will open. Click on the definition tab and activate musical mode. Activating musical mode allows you to hear timing changes that we're going to make. Enter the number of bars the drum loop's length equals. In our case, it's four. The drum loop is now matched to the tempo of the project. Press play. Notice that the drum loop still doesn't exactly match with the click. It's close, but not exact. This is because the loop has timing variations. Let's correct them. Activate Manual Adjust. This allows us to manually adjust the timing grid to correct any timing variations. Zoom in to the bars of the drum loop. In our case, it will be bars 2, 3, 4, and 5. Move the bar grid lines close to the beginning of the attacks of the waveform display. Make sure you're only moving the grid lines that are on bars 2, 3, 4, and 5. You should see the flag, Stretch Previous, Move Next, appear. Moving the grid lines at bar positions allows us to basically lock in the tempo at the previous bar, while the following bars will be changed. Now move the beat grid lines close to the beginning of the attacks of the waveform display. Zoom in to line up the beat grid lines exactly. Do this for the entire drum loop in all the locations that appear to be off time. Now close the sample editor. Click on the drum loop and select Loop Selection from the Transport menu. You can now hear that the drum loop is in perfect time with the project's tempo. 
feel free to change the tempo on the transport by first deactivating the tempo track and notice that the drum loop will follow. Load up the project called Tempo in Groove 6. In this example, we have an audio file that we don't know the tempo of. We'll be using an alternative way of syncing an audio file up to the project's tempo using hit points. We only want to use a small section of the audio file to create a drum loop. Press start on the transport and hear that the drum loop is off time with the click. Now press stop. Double click on the drum loop and the sample editor will open. We're going to create a two bar loop from this audio file. Make sure the range selection tool is selected. Click and drag to make a selection of a portion of the audio file that you will use as a drum loop, somewhere just after bar 5 and just after bar 7. To get the selection to match our example, click on the Range tab and enter 411427 in the Start field and 616843 in the End field. These numbers are just for this example. If you're using another audio file, you'll need to choose a different range. Click on the Hit Points tab and choose Slice and Close. You now have a loop that is cut to the selection you made and can loop to the project's tempo. The sample editor will close and you'll be returned to the project page. Click on the drum loop and select Loop Selection from the Transport menu. You can now hear that the drum loop is in perfect time with the project's tempo. Feel free to change the tempo on the transport by first deactivating the tempo track and notice that the drum loop will follow. <laughs>